Let's play a game of cards. Our pack is full of comic superheroes. Zara is playing with her twin brother, Saul. To win a hand, our players must choose a higher scoring category. Hmm, I think I'll choose strength. I've got eight for strength. Haha, ha, I've got nine, so that means I win. Hmm, your Mr. Sulk may be stronger than my Mrs. Marvelous, but she's definitely more intelligent and never gets sulky. I think I'll choose headgear this time. What have you got for that category? I've only got five. I've got ten. You win again. This is so unfair. My heroes have loads of good skills and strengths, but they keep losing because you always pick a category that your hero has a higher score for. Why don't we play the game differently? So they try a new approach with these same two cards. They decide to add up the scores they get for every category. 5 plus 7 equals 12. 10 plus 9 equals 19. 12 plus 10 equals 22. 19 plus 4 equals 23. 23, 23 plus, plus 7 equals 30. 30. It's a draw. Awesome. We're equal. And that's how the concept of equal value works in law. It's like Zara's game of cards. She thinks hers is the fairest because it takes into account all of a person's characteristics relevant for a job rather than just the one. Here's how it works in practice using Zara's way, based on an equal pay claim brought by a dinner lady against a local council. It's really hard being a bin man, emptying all those stinky bins. I think it's actually quite a hard job being a dinner lady too. They've got to put up with lots of noisy kids always asking questions. Back in the real world, it's actually an independent expert chosen by a judge who draws up the categories. It can sometimes be the first time their jobs have been compared. The expert then assesses and marks how hard each job is using these categories. another draw because they've taken all of our skills into account. The overall scores are level so this means their work is of equal value and our dinner lady deserves to be paid at least the same as a bin man. All of this information is then handed to the judge to check whether he or she agrees. People say you can't change the cards you're dealt in life but you can change the way you play them to make society fairer. <laughs>